everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use this giant 5 by 12 hoop in your smaller single needle embroidery machines. Hi, my name is Mary with Sewing for Madison. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching others how easy and fun it can be. Let's talk about our project today. Like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be using this 5 by 12 embroidery hoop. This is an aftermarket hoop part of a set from New Bro Threads. It's a four piece set. You can in fact use this on your single needle machines that are only up to five by seven hoop size. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You do need a few things. You need embroidery software for that. I use in Brilliance. It's a great quality software and it's super easy to use. And I like in Brilliance because you can buy whatever modules that you need for your project. So if you just need to do basic editing, you can do that. If you need to do more advanced digitalizing, you can do that. So you buy the modules that fit your needs. I just have the basic enthusiast package and I absolutely love it. Let's head over to the machine. We're gonna talk about our placement with the hoop and exactly how we're gonna embroider this pattern. Okay, so I have here hooped um, just a piece of flannel with a cutaway stabilizer. What I want to show you on this end is that you have a couple different spots here that you can hook your hoop onto your machine. So you have an A, B, and C portion here. So A is here, the first two all the way to the left. B is gonna be the middle two here, and then C is gonna be the far ones all the way to the right. Now this is important depending on the pattern that you're using. I'm gonna grab one of the grid templates to show you an idea of what I'm talking about. So here is the center line here. You'll notice that there's dash lines here and here. So if I just want to embroider exactly in the middle, right here, I'm gonna put that in the middle too. See the embroidery machine here? You have these two pegs here and here. That is the B position. Now for our design, our design is gonna go across like this. So I'm actually gonna use the A position and then the C position. It's basically two five by seven hoops put together in one. And that's how it is loaded into our machine. So I'm gonna use my grid line template and our template guide here that I've printed off for our perfect placement. Let me put the template down first. I already have the first part of the design loaded into the machine. And I have our first thread threaded. Okay, so we have our template there. And now I'm gonna put our grid line back on here so you can see exactly where we're lined up. So our lines are here, our center point is there, so that is perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to be embroidering the, see what half I'm doing. I am going to be doing the top half of the hoop. So I want to do A first. Again, I'm gonna be using these two brackets here. Okay, it slides on just like that. I'm going to remove my template. And we are ready to begin our first stitching. So the first part of our design is started. I need to cut my jump stitches here 
and then we have nine other colors to stitch. So uh, enjoy this time lapse while I finish this side. Okay, so the first half of our design is complete. Now we're going to load the second part into our machine and then we are going to move to the C position right here. Now that our design is finished, we're going to remove it from the hoop. To do that, again, you want to press down on your tab and lift the frame up. Let's take a look at our design. Okay, here is our completed design. You can see that it's stitched out very, very nicely and that there are no missed stitches. Wow, what a great project. I really hope that you were able to learn something new. We worked again with those aftermarket hoops from New Bro Threads. This was the five by 12 size. I'm gonna put a link down in the description of where you can get this really great set for your PE 770, um, PE 800. It fits a whole huge variety of machines. Also, I'm gonna put a link down in the description for the Embrilliant software that we used to create this really awesome split hoop design.
I hope that you were able to learn some new tricks and tips today. If you have any questions about our project, make sure you list them down below. If you have any tutorials that you'd like to see coming up in the future, list those down below too. Make sure that you smash that like button and you subscribe and share my video. And until next time, happy crafting.